welcome back to another end of another video. Today we are still looking at Tropical Storm Elsa, but from a different perspective. So today we're looking at the NAM 3 km model, just to get a different model's point of view, other than the HWRF model. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now let's get right on into it. So the NAM takes a little bit of a different perspective than the HWRF. The HWRF has been very bullish on the storm, taking it to a, I think we've been seeing category two, category three, consistently from that model. Now the NAM does have this reforming into a hurricane, maybe even a weak category two, but it also has the storm further west which brings it into the Gulf of Mexico, where we have seen intensification of storms happen multiple times. So, we're just going to take a look at this potential intensification of the storm. So, let's get right on into it. So, we can see here that Elsa is popping up right off the coast of Cuba there. And we have a, a thousand eight millibars. Now the storm is pretty one-sided. Everything's on the east side. That will change as the storm continues to get closer to Florida. We kind of get a rebirth of the storm, where it kind of concentrates everything right now into the center. It drops about ten millibars boom right in there and we see this storm get a little bit better in terms of shape we have more convection on either side of the storm and we could even see later in the video that the wind speeds do pick up when this happens as well then the storm continues to remain in the eastern gulf of mexico and make landfall in florida pretty far north and then we can see that the model run does end. So, let's move on here to wind speeds. And this is a very interesting perspective. So, the NAM is showing a strong tropical storm that tries to form into a hurricane. You can see that purple in there. This is at 10 meters above, at this point, the sea surface not the surface the mean sea level but when that low pressure drops a few millibars we do see this strong tropical storm weak hurricane category one potentially go into a mid to strong category one potentially even cat two before it kind of Interacts with a little bit of land goes back to strong tropical storm before it makes landfall Another perspective here that we can look at is sea surface temperatures Which does have a huge impact on tropical storm development now When the storm is coming in you can see that the southeastern Gulf is pretty warm with the northeastern Gulf a little bit less so so it does make sense that this is going to strengthen a little bit while over the southeastern gulf other than the northeastern gulf so everything kind of plays to the sea surface temperatures there but i think that we're in for a doozy more than the national hurricane center is showing now their perspective could totally be right in the end but there are plenty of models that do show this going above just the tropical storm. So, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.